This week's IP News on Eon Law The Federal Circuit has ruled that only human beings, and not an artificial intelligence, AI, can be considered an inventor under U.S. patent law. The U.S. Patent and Trademark Office denied Stephen Toller's patent applications, which failed to list any human as an inventor. One such system is his device for the autonomous bootstrapping of unified science, which Toller calls Dabus. In July 2019, Toller sought patent protection for two of Dabus' putative inventions by filing two patent applications with the PTO, U.S. Application Numbers 16524350, Teaching a Neural Flame, and 16524532, Teaching a Fractal Container. He listed Dabus as the sole inventor on both applications. Tyler maintains that he did not contribute to the conception of these inventions and that any person having skill in the art could have taken Dabus' output and reduced the ideas and the applications to practice. In lieu of an inventor's last name, Tyler wrote on the applications that the invention was generated by artificial intelligence. The USPTO concluded that the applications were incomplete and that they lacked a valid inventor. The USPTO denied this on the basis that a machine does not qualify as an inventor. This case presents the question of who, or what, can be an inventor. Specifically, we are asked to decide if an artificial intelligence software system can be listed as the inventor on a patent application. The Patent Act expressly provides that inventors are individuals. However, the U.S. Supreme Court has explained that it ordinarily means a human being, a person. The decision lines up with courts in the European Union, the United Kingdom, and Australia that have refused to accept Toller's argument. To learn more about AI and intellectual property law, visit us at www.eonlaw.com. Eon Law. Unleashing Genius.